Episode. But before we start with the Loot Crate box, I just wanted to say a few things. First thing, I am sorry. I am, as if you can tell, I'm a little congested, a little bit of a cold on the side. I've had this for about five days now, and it will just not go away. It shifts from sore throats to congestion to all kinds of stuff, and it just, it hates me. I've been sneezing all day today, and I hope I don't sneeze during this video, or else I'm going to do a lot of editing. But I'm trying to work through it, so just don't mind the uh, congestion and uh, tell I'm sick probably, but it'll be fine. It's only a cold, so nothing major. I can still function properly. But the second thing is, before we start this video, is a brief update here. Um, I've been getting a lot of comments and concerns on YouTube and messages and stuff. Like, where have you been? You used to be such an active YouTuber, and what's happened and all this kind of stuff. And I just wanted to say that... Um, in August, I recently started my first year of college, and just to explain how things work, at the college I'm going to, the first year you have to live on campus, so you're living with another person in your room, and I couldn't take all this equipment that I have to the room to make YouTube videos, so I only have my laptop, and that laptop doesn't have the power to run these games, and I don't have the apps I need to record, don't have my microphone, don't have a webcam, don't have all that stuff, and plus I don't know when my roommate's going to walk in or out, so he'll be interrupting the video, and then I just don't have the security and ability to do this stuff, plus the internet is shared by everybody on campus, so the internet's a little up and down, so it's not great, so I just figured I'm not going to bother with it, at least until I live off campus, so I don't know how long it'll be, probably not next year, maybe the following year, but I really don't want to haul all this, in, all this stuff to campus, so during the breaks like I am on now, I'm on Thanksgiving break right now for the week, so I had the time to get this Loot Crate box, I really wanted this box, and come and give you guys an update about what's going on, so you looking to the future, I do have three weeks off for Christmas break, starting the 17th of December, so if everything works to plan, I have a bunch of videos I want to get done then, Nick should be home for New Year's, and we have a bunch of stuff planned for me and him to get his channel working, and that's really what we were working to do was get his channel up and running once he gets his computer built and give him a foundation so he can record videos and all of my viewers that I have can go watch his stuff meanwhile while I'm doing my education and studying computer engineering that's what I'm going for for now and trying to keep my education going while he can do that and then when I get on break for my fall break, spring break um, winter break, summer break anytime I get a break, anytime I get a chance I can record videos and just do that so that's the standpoint where I am, so if you guys have any questions or concerns, I still read my YouTube comments, I still read my messages, it all comes through my phone, I just can't upload, but I can still read everything, and look at comments and views and my analytics and stuff, so I have all that. Okay, that was the update, and now we can begin with the Blue Crate video. So, this unboxing is the Wizarding World Crate, it's a new release from Blue Crate. This is the first box of the series, it's a two month box, so I ordered this last month, so you get November, and then if you order it now, I don't know if you could still get this box, this first box, I think you can, I checked yesterday, and you could, because Caitlin wanted it, but you, you can go online, lookrate.com, and look, and if you use my promo code, you, yes, you can ask me for the promo code, I don't know if it's on my videos or not, but I think I'll put it in the description, but if you use the promo code, it's a deal for both you and I, because I get money for it discounts and it's all a wonderful place. So, this Loot Crate is the first one of the set. You get one every two months, so the next one that would come out would be in January. If you get that, I'm going to decline my subscription because I'm going back to school in January and I won't be here to use it. But I just wanted this one because this month's Loot Crate theme for the Wizarding World is J.K. Rowling, so as you can imagine, it's going to be Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts. So I don't know entirely what's in the Loot Crate, but I can assure you that when you go on to order it, it's going to ask you for your shirt size, but also the house you want from Harry Potter. So if you're not familiar with Pottermore, it's like a website for Harry Potter fans. You can go and like build. You can do quizzes to get your wand, your Patronus charm, 
your house and my house that I used on there is Ravenclaw because Ravenclaw is for the intelligent, the wise, all those people and funny enough Caitlin's a Slytherin but uh, mine's Ravenclaw so I picked my shirt to be Ravenclaw so without further ado we can get in here and if you haven't seen Harry Potter I recommend it though because I love Harry Potter and also Fantastic Beasts I just went to watch that yesterday it was a really good movie it had a lot of Harry Potter connections into it and by the way I don't have my knife so I do too soon but it had a lot of Harry Potter connections into it so it's really it's outside I want to be a wizard is what it says it's already standing up. I want to be a wizard. I know everybody's dream is to be a wizard. I want to go to Hogwarts and study. I don't need radio. Just do that. It'd be great. But we can start here with the shirt that comes with it. And this one, this shirt is from Fantastic Beasts. So, again, if you haven't watched Fantastic Beasts, one time. Oh, this is one of the, um, well, at the very beginning of the movie, I don't want to spoil anything, but it just goes through a bunch of, like, newspaper prints and stuff. So this one... Hold up here for you guys to see. Uh, you can't probably really can't see it, but it says the uh, the New York Ghost, the magical disturbances, risk wizarding exposure. So the International Federation of Wizards for emergency meetings. So I don't know if this is at the very beginning or not, but basically the the plot line of the story is they take wizarding to New York, where it's the American version, not the English, the England version, like Harry Potter was in. But this one, at the very beginning, they roll through all these newspaper clips. This, I don't know if this is one of them or not. But this is like the wizarding community and everything that goes along with it. So it's a nice shirt. But it goes around like all the disturbances that were going on during the time and everything. So it was a very interesting movie. I don't know if I'm going to see it. It was a good movie. I was taking my home. So next we have some interesting stuff here. Let's pull out this little guy. That's an owl. So that's a uh, pig widgeon plush. I will take him out of the wrap. I'm assuming this is a Harry Potter thing because I don't remember seeing an owl in the uh, Fantastic Beast. So it's a pig widgeon plush from Harry Potter. I wonder. If, I wonder if there's anybody like if this is like one of those. Uh, it looks like it would be a thing where everybody would get this. Because it doesn't have like a tag saying like number blank of blank. It doesn't like say you can get other ones. If there was one with Hedwig in it, I'd be like dying for it. But we will keep him there. He will watch you. Just don't mind his eyes. for the stare at him all the time. Next from Fantastic Beasts, we got Newt Scamander, the very fashionable guy himself. He is the main character in Fantastic Beasts. If you have known that as the case of Beasts and where he goes on the adventure where to find him. So that's him, number two. Also, if you're looking for this, um, there's also, this, this is the one where him holding egg and wand, so this is number two, or wherever number two is there, there's number two, you can see, up. Oh, yeah. and there's also, number one is him holding his briefcase, you get, uh, Goldstein, uh, Queenie Goldstein, Tina Goldstein, Kowalski's number five, six is Query, seven is Graves, eight is Niffler, and nine is Niffler with a different item. So you have to watch the movie to understand it. I don't really want to spoil the characters, but Niffler is one of the magical beasts that likes to steal things, likes to take things and shiny. Them. So don't want to spoil too much, but if you haven't watched the movie, yet. next we got from Harry Potter, a Loot Crate exclusive. I don't know what this is. There's only one way to find out, and that's to open it. And it's more packaging. Oh, oh, it's wait, nope, it's not. Packaging is open. Okay. I have a pencil on it. Packaging is open. So this loot crate has a Harry Potter like envelope, headwig, and this fuzzy thing. It looks like it would be the end of a balloon stick type of thing. So, I mean, it has an owl, which I would assume, well, just an owl. I don't know if it's having that specifically. It has the Harry Potter envelope. You can see that in the white stuff. And it also has this puppy ribbon thing. I don't know. 
what exactly it is. It doesn't really say. It just says Blue Crate exclusive from Harry Potter. Bio World. Bio World Merch dot com. Yeah. It makes a lot of noise. Very jingly. Um you got a box. It's a green box. Very, very interesting. An interesting green box maybe. And inside of it is a scroll. Oh, interesting. And it's like okay now, okay, this makes it see this just made things. This just everything just got real. Okay, we need a pen or something because this is. I don't have the nails to do this. Okay, I ripped it. I will do this, guys. I can do it. It's like a sticker that's holding the scroll in. Get that. Nope. Okay. It says, "Welcome to J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World." This month's magic loot. You get the Fantastic Beast T-shirt. The pigeon. Okay, actually, I didn't finish the thing, so. I'm only gonna read the one. I don't want to expose. You get the Fantastic Beast T-shirt, which is a uh, official's like a newspaper page of the New York Post. The Pigwidgeon plush. Oh, okay. This was the uh, this was Ron's hyperactive owl from Sirius. Ah, uh, okay, gotcha. Then you got the pop figure. Okay, so the pop figure assortment that you can get, like I got the Fantastic Beast one. There are some from Fantastic Beasts. But you can also get Harry Potter ones, I think, because uh, Dumbledore is in it. Like here, Dumbledore. It's hard to see. Uh, then the Hedwig. It's not his Hedwig. Letter keychain. Oh, okay. Uh, so is Hedwig the one? Okay. So basically, how it's supposed to look is Hedwig is supposed to be like. Carrying the letter. Kenji was carrying the letter. That's not okay. um, the reason I don't want to read the last part, because there's two more things in the box. Um, this big book that looks like it has a Fantastic Beast thingy on it. This is a big book. Unless it's like a one of those books where it's like it's for ten pages and it's only like one thing. Again, can I open the thing? Little Crate always does this to me. It's always a pain to open these products. I'm not getting pit oh, I'm getting plastic all over the floor. I just came home. This place was nice and clean when I got back. I'm back for three days now and I'm already wrecking it. <sighs> so let's open up this book and it's a notebook. That's what it is. So it's a fantastic piece. That's what it is. It's just a notebook like a, with a shiny text and everything. It's just blank pages. Out of it. Oh, it's a neat looking notebook. Oh, and on the back it has a uh, a map. The Magical Congress of the United States of America. Real time hex locator. Dude, if these, like, there's little, like, glowing things at parts of the uh, U.S. with hexes, if these things moved by somehow, some means, if they were to move, uh, checked it another day and they moved locations. I'd probably, like, skip. I'd probably forget it. But that's the notebook. And last thing in the box is the pin. And this is the Bow Truckle Lapel Pen. Lapel? I don't know what I just watched this yesterday. It's the, um... It looks like... Is he holding the briefcase? I'm not going to say sure. But there was this little like creature that's afraid of like other creatures like him. It's a bow truckle. And he's like a little point like that. And he's like holding the briefcase with him. You see that? There you go. So if you watch the movie, you know. If you didn't watch the movie, you're gonna have to watch the movie in order to find out what all these mean. But anyway. I don't know if this box folds inside out. Not but anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Don't mind my sickness and everything and all this stuff. But if you did enjoy, please remember to leave a like. It would be greatly appreciated. Comment down below anything you want. Ask any questions. I will be able to see them even if I go back to school within the next for a while, a week from now. And, you know, I'm not here to make videos. I can still answer all this stuff because I will see. I will still see it. And, you know, just uh, keep following the channel, keep liking, subscribing. I'm hoping to get Nick ready to go in the near future so he can 
pick up with the stuff. And um, that's about it. Oh, well. Yeah, it was, oh, it was the bow truckle that uh, was supposed to be in his pocket. So. And the Mac USA. So, that's it for this Loot Crate unboxing. If you want to get it for yourself, you may still be able to get it for a limited time. I don't know. But they're every two months for 40 bucks a month. Unless you buy, like, the 12 month subscription, then it's like 200 something to save money per box. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you probably in the next video, which will be around Christmas time. So thanks for the support, guys, and see you. Later.